I'm Ann Gary. I'm the lead scientist of the Natural Capital Project, and I lead the development and application of the Marine Invest models. We at the Natural Capital Project developed Marine Invest in order to help people understand what we get from nature and to use that understanding to inform decisions. And we decided that we needed a decision support tool to help people kind of envision how their different activities might impact a whole host of things that people care about that we get from marine environments. So instead of developing models and then looking for a place in which to apply them to show their utility, we developed our models in conversation with our partners at the West Coast Aquatic on the west coast of Vancouver Island. My name is Andrew Day and I'm the Managing Director of West Coast Aquatic. And what West Coast Aquatic does is bring all different kinds of people together from whether it's scientists or community members or fishermen and we help them develop plans and strategies for how to move things forward. So the kinds of specific things that we do with Marine Invest are we look at conflicts in a particular area. If you're a wind energy company, then we can tell you the places that are going to have the best potential for wind and that are also going to produce the least impact on the ecology of the area and on other activities. And it's really important to have that independent, legitimate science in that mix. My name is Katie Arkema and I'm a marine ecologist with the Natural Capital Project. And it's my role in this project to bring an understanding of all of the really important habitats that occur underneath the water and along our coast. One of the things that we've done in our tools is we've um, created the ability for people in locations like in the west coast of Vancouver Island to be able to understand how those habitats are at risk and to then look to see how the risk to those habitats may change the delivery of benefits to people. We worked hard to make models that could be used by people who are not experts. So they don't have to be oceanographers or coastal engineers or fisheries biologists in order to run these models. And in fact, we have trained many of our members of the staff of the West Coast Aquatic who are now running a number of our models without our help. My name is Connor McKenzie and I work with the West Coast Aquatic Management Board. I'm the Marine Spatial Planner for Clackwatt and Barkley Sound. Well, we're on the west coast of Vancouver Island, about halfway up. Well, we've been, we've been using Marine Invest models to really start giving us a, an actual visual idea of what's really going on underwater. On the surface, you're looking at a relatively pristine location with what, what appears to be uh, no impact at all, but there's a lot going on within these ecosystems that can be affected by any, anything from pollution to distribution of shade. But what we're doing here is we're really trying to make a user-friendly product that, uh, that we can all use to look at it in a, a, a scientific manner as possible. The Moore Foundation has provided really important support for us as we envisioned a tool and began to apply it. And at the same time, they helped us with connecting to a real marine spatial planning process on the west coast of Vancouver Island and supporting our work in that collaboration. All over the world right now, I think everyone's kind of trying to grapple with this issue of how do we find some sort of harmony here between what we do and the needs of other species and groups. But to me, the biggest success is that we're actually doing it, right? You've got all these people who are, who are trying to work this out, and that's really powerful. 